Hi, I'm Tommy Krasik. And I'm Eric Gustelin. And we are the directors of Spider-Man Seasons of Change. That's <laughs> 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 <Scribbly. laughs> no, alright. Opening on scene one here. Right, if we go here and we pause it right about here where the truck's coming in. This is our first shot. And here, we have a lot of things going on. So we have a light here, light up here, we have two lights up here, we have one big massive work floodlight, and we also have another one of these smaller lights. We also have a light attached here to the back of the truck. Just lighting has a red color, so when it gets close enough here to Will, it does that nice bright flashing, because we found out that the lights on the back of the truck there weren't really bright enough, so yeah. We had to light this one pretty well, and thankful enough, guard over here, Hamish, is the one who supplied all the lights, so shout out to Hamish. So here we have two henchmen unloading the van. We'll stop it right here. Bang! Right there. Eric, why don't you talk about this one? Uh, yeah, so this shot is actually a um, practical and visual or visual effects shot all combined into one. So you see, uh, you can sort of see it around my waist here. They have a, a rope that's actually at the hip. Um, this is for when I was pulled back. Um, and when I went to pick up the box and turn around, I sort of had to, to brace because Tommy was in behind the van here holding this rope. And they gave me the countdown, said right out, three, two, one. And I had to make it look as natural as possible, which you see in the set. So this web here, so this web here is just literally the rope. So that's the rope attached to Eric's waist, covered in cling wrap. So the cling wrap effect, figured out, I used to work at a supermarket, unloading pallets, you pull the cling wrap a little bit and it, it creates a really nice kind of practical web effect. It captures the light very well, almost giving like a, 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 a thousand strand web kind of look. So we wrap the rope in the cling wrap just to get that effect, that nice glistening, and yeah, so that's our practical web. If we go forward a little bit, go to our second henchman. Here we have our VFX ones. Here, this is where I came in. But essentially, it was really just two very simple sticks that were uh, come down from the top of the screen um, and attached to Will, obviously, on the shoulders. Um, what I was able to do was add a little bit of slack and then as soon as we needed the tension I would tighten it up in the program afterwards to give it that nice elasticity sort of feel. Uh, and then yeah, up he went and then that's when Tommy took over and added in the legs afterwards, obviously because he couldn't jump yeah, that high. Yeah, obviously he can't jump that high. So yeah, we filmed that in two shots. So one shot we filmed top half like you see, jumping straight up. And then the second shot we filmed, we tilted the camera down just a little bit and captured the legs. And it's just a matter of matching speeds and compositing it together. So, easy enough. This here was another one of our um, practical and visual effects. As you can see here, that was all uh, done post-production. Um, and that was very simple. I just made like a spiral sort of mesh inside a blender and then tracked it from his wrist to go past the camera and then you'll see in the very next shot same thing just just brushing past Amish's head and then in the background is when we added the uh, practical web which Tommy made out of hot glue. Oh, really? yeah, so there we go. Right. There it is and all its glory. So basically this section here, this big web. So it wasn't always looking like that. Originally it was the most simplistic spider web you could have made out of hot glue, like in a literal like octagon kind of shape. And obviously we thought that would have been enough, but then come to post-production, it looked very wimpy. It looked like it was literally this place that you could see shadows, obviously, because it's a bit more 3D than a normal web would be. You could see shadows. So we added in from, I think it was footage crate. We downloaded a web file, attached it over the top, tracked it, and now I think it looks hundred bucks. Much better. Heaps better. Alright, so the final part of this, the jump. Alright, so the jump here was all done in Final Cut Pro. So, we didn't replace him with a CG double or anything like that. It was just a matter of getting Eric to jump super high here. 
and then cutting around him. So literally just taking, because obviously the scene was too dark, we couldn't use a roto brush. I had to use the pen tool and basically just cut around Eric. And then it's just a matter of just timing it right. That's something that we worked on a lot, timing right, because Spider-Man is a little bit stronger than a normal person, so jumping, he'd obviously take off a lot quicker, he'd fly through the air a lot quicker, all that kind of stuff. So it's just a matter of getting the timing right and getting it to look good. I think in the end we got it looking pretty good. <laughs> Definitely one of our um, biggest issues in this film was just making everything look just right. Had a lot of Definitely. It was, you know, one or two frames difference that would just really sell every single one of your jumps in the film. And if we skip to the next part, keep watching. That's another one, same thing, cutting around, it's way too dark to roto him out, so yeah, a matter of just using the pen tool in Final Cut and cutting around him. But here, we, this one, we, I think we re-edited it, re-edited it, I think three or twice over, just in different variations. So in the end, we ended up going with starting Spider-Man in the darkness a bit more, and as he come past the ledge, he's a little bit more lighter, just to create a sense of depth. And as well, having Spider-Man smaller, growing as he comes over the ledge, just as well, give a sense of depth. So, I think in the end, this one come out really nicely as well, and blends well to the practical shot straight after it. Anyway, I think that's the end of that scene. Let's move on to the next one. Mind if I take this? Hands up for yes, hands down for no. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> Nice.